nothing in chess is uh, easy to break down hmm. so again one of the things i feel uh, that chess has taught me is that uh, very far from controlling your brain your brain is a wild horse there <laughs> and you need to work with it hmm. um you need to work with it sometimes it will betray you and uh, it's operating according to its own clock its own schedule um you can't impose control on that and so creativity partly is learning how to um um understand that you will lose control so i've often alluded to this thing of losing control mm. losing control can happen at many levels psychological um you can feel uncomfortable or playing something and so on and so um in chess it's not enough to focus on uh, um the skills you can learn mm-hmm. there are also the skills uh, you must become intelligent um i'll give you one quick example mm-hmm. um i would often get to move 40 and move 40 is significant because it's the end of the first time control which means that you get a fresh uh, uh, amount of time on your clock and you normally your time pressure is over mm. but a lot of people the moment the time between move 32 and 40 is so tense mm. and they are so caught up in it they're not able to stop mm. they'll make the 40 was move anyway and especially once upon a time i was very prone to this error mm. um and i was also prone to error that when i had half an hour and my opponent had 3 seconds i would try to play fast so that he wouldn't have any time to think it doesn't take a lot of intelligence to stop yourself and see that if you play fast to not give him any time to think you're not giving yourself any time to think either mm. so these were two areas where i had problem and one of the things uh, i did was i would simply make a mental note i would think of some painful loss i had suffered as a result of these habits so that when i went to the board when i was in move 35 my opponent down to 3 seconds he's shaking and the temptation is overwhelming and i have half an hour i mean no pressure i would just uh, tell myself to get up go to the refreshment area have a little bit of water or some coffee and then i'd come back and i found that this broke the tension hmm it i stopped uh, i had become too emotionally uh, uh, bound in the game and this broke that and then i was able to uh, bring some sanity to the process and especially doing this after move 40 when neither of us is in any tension anymore right but just getting up going away and leaving it for 10 minutes and then you come back and you find that it re- resets your brain almost so that's one technique but there are techniques like this that you learn uh you know you're part of your bag of tools and your toolkit and uh, that's how it works very interesting and you spoke about uh, you know organizing information i'm curious about how uh you organize information in your head and 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 at least uh, the way i think about it there are two things right one is you need to have a database in your head of the various games that have been played and the research you've done maybe specific to an opponent as well and you need to have processing capacity to deal with new situations that come up right right so how do you organize your processor in the sense uh, is there uh, again is as again something that you've learned over the years in terms of not overloading with data that you don't have space for processing power is is there a trade off there or is that a false trade off uh, i don't think we i don't think i i've never thought of my brain in terms of hard disk capacity um so you know that there's a limited amount of space that i'm going to work with but uh, it's like this i have come to the conclusion that um, you can't uh, manage your brain in a certain way mm-hmm. but what you can do is to create the conditions that are ideal where um, you're found in the past it tends to flourish and you create those conditions and so you follow the kind of habits that work well like for instance this habit of breaking on move 40 worked well for me very interesting um it meant i had i, I dropped the emotional baggage of the first 40 moves hmm. um now a lot of people may not understand what is emotional baggage in chess so in a chess game uh, you can go through a lot of twists and turns i might have been winning and then suddenly i blundered and then i was lost and now my opponent blundered and now i'm back in the game and thing so here there's a lot of accumulated things you're first kicking yourself for not winning your one position you're thinking i shouldn't even be having to play this now but then you realize that uh, you were lost as well and then you realize that so this but now the thing is you the only position you'll ever have in, in the board is the one in front of you now right that's the only thing you can do anything about so you have to have this habit of breaking it uh, now overnight sleep is nice but in this case you have to find some way to break it 
and i believe that um, uh, i it's important to keep the brain excited about chess passionate about chess so if you keep on looking at new positions you look on things that interest you or you look at difficult things that didn't come to you if um, if chess keeps fascinating you mm-hmm. then chances are then when when the time comes to process it'll process when the time comes to remember it'll remember got it um if people in the audience just want to know what is uh, that in a very very basic sense uh try to see your recall in subjects that interest you and try to see the recall in subjects that don't interest you mm.